Roswell flight test crew here to give you another behind the scenes look at one of our rotor drone articles. Today we're at the Big Float. It's a festival celebrating the Willamette River in Portland, Oregon. All right, let's get to it. With thousands of people streaming into Tom McCall Waterfront Park for the event, we tracked down the organizer to get an explanation for how it all got started. So we're here talking with Will Levinson. How you doing, Will? I'm doing great. Good, good. Nice, nice. to see you again. Yeah, thanks, Patrick. So why don't you sort of tell everybody out there in the world what, why this event's happening, what Portland's relationship is with the Willamette River that makes it necessary to coax people out there on inner tubes. Portland is known as a very green place. And Portland really prides itself on, I think, being green environmental stewards. Absolutely. But the, uh, the Willamette River, the beautiful river that goes through the middle of our town, has uh, a checkered past. There was so much pollution at one point in the Willamette that the oxygen levels were so low in certain sections that fish would actually suffocate when they swam through. And could that, coupled with the fact that we have a combined sewer system like most major cities do, so that our stormwater and our sewage water are mixed together, so if there's too much rain, then sewage flows directly into the river. And you're saying that's a disincentive for people swimming in the river? That's typically a disincentive. <laughs> but what happened was a not-for-profit called Northwest Environmental Advocates 20 years ago sued the city on the Clean Water Act, and they put in a project called the Big Pipe. So that rather than after a tenth of an inch of rain, which would happen over a hundred times a year, and if you think about that, over a hundred times a year is basically one out of every three days would be a sewage overflow. And every time there was a sewage overflow, the weather people would say, hey, stay out of the Willamette, there's been a sewage overflow. Over time, over the last 20 years, that just beats the hope out of people. So it really takes a big effort to change the paradigm to allow people and give people the license to reconsider the relationship with the Willamette. And that's where you come in. Your, your group's called the Human Access Project. So what? tell us about your mission specifically. Our mission is to transform Portland's relationship with the Willamette River. You know, today we're you know, anticipating to have between 2,000 and 2,500 people inner tube in downtown Portland. So for those people who get in the water, the relationship immediately changes. And for people who are feeling skeptical about getting into the water when they see these people are getting out of the water, they're alive and healthy and smiling. <laughs> So intellectually, it's an intellectual argument to help people reconsider their relationship with the Willamette. Our, our approach is Pied Piper advocacy, where we try to create fun situations for people to experience the Willamette in their own terms. And uh, that way I think it's a little more sustainable and they can develop their own relationship and not do it out of guilt or some other pressure. <laughs> They're not doing it at bayonet point. Correct. Because <laughs> right. sure, the bayonets would puncture the inner tubes. That would not be good. No, no, that no, wouldn't be that good. Would be kind of <laughs> well, so, thank you so much for your time. Hey, thanks, Patrick. Good luck today. Good yes. luck today. In order to capture high quality still images of the event for Rotor Drone, Raven spent most of the day rigged up with our Sony NEX 7. However, we got started with a quick test flight using a regular GoPro. Alright, so about a little more than an hour before showtime, and it's an absolutely beautiful 75 degrees here under pretty clear skies with a predicted high today of 88. So if you're going to be floating on the river, this is a pretty good day for it. They're going to start here at this location. They're going to walk around the promenade in a parade. They're going to embark at a new beach up the way and float back. Now we're going to get some video and some stills from the air. Now to do that we have to be mobile. So mobile ground station, aircraft, we're good to go. A few minutes later, the thunder of drums alerted us to the fact the event was about to get started. Well, I guess this is what Will meant by Pied Piper activism. He's got this drum corps literally going to lead everybody down here out to Poets Beach where they're going to put in the water. As you can see, there's this whole big long line of people just waiting to go. As we were swept along with the crowd, it immediately became clear that we weren't going to get any decent shots of the first part of the parade. Okay, so we're parading down, but there's a uh, lot of tree cover here, which is precluding getting any good aerial photography. We finally found some open ground about halfway through the route, and we put Raven to work.
Arriving at the beach, we sent her aloft again, and she captured the image the editors of Rotodrone chose to anchor the story. So that was our day at the Big Float. Be sure to check out our article about this event in the issue of Rotor Drone Magazine on newsstands now. Hope you're watching. See you next time. All right, float safe. Float safe. Float safe.